Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. This badass sim right here is called Arnold. And we're going to be playing through a day in the life of the most rebellious sim in the world. Arnold here is a teenager, he goes to high school, although he doesn't need to, he's a highly skilled mathematician and makes his own websites. And if you ask him, he would tell you that he was born a rebel. He doesn't play by the rules. He doesn't even paint his D&D characters, and he never will. He lives in a humble home, this is his space, in the basement. No one is allowed down here, especially not girls. Arnold lives with his mum, Janine, who is currently sleeping, thinking about babies. I guess she's thinking about having another one. Get another chance to get it right, I suppose. It's what happens when your only child turns into a miscreant. Hey, Arnold. So yeah, today we're going to walk a mile in the shoes of a true bad boy. For now, though, it's late, and I can see you're tired, Arnold. Switch on your nightlight and set your alarm clock. It's time to get some snooze. No night. So we'll probably go with Arnold to school tomorrow. See what kind of fuckery he gets up to there. He causes chaos on a daily basis, so I guess we'll bear witness to all of that. Oh, you woke up? You're hungry? Let's start the day with some porridge. Yeah, that's Arnold's favourite. He loves porridge. Morning, Mum. Hope you slept well last night. I don't know what time I'm going to be home tonight because I might get a detention. Today might be the day. He says that every day. Let's go take a morning dump and then, of course, brush our teeth. We can't start a day of havoc and mischief without that winning smile. That's right. That's right. Oh, he doesn't have class for 24 hours. Today is not the day we will walk in the shoes of a true badass. I guess tomorrow will be the day. And with some time and camera trickery, we will be there in a mere second. And just like that, it's time for school. Ah, uh, back to the old school. There's the boy that takes my lunch money. God, he cheeses me off! How stupid is The Sims 4? In that in one day, he's grown an entire goatee and is covered in acne. Stupid fucking game. Today is the day I get a detention and I have a very cunning plan for how I'm going to do that. First of all, I'm going to sneak into the teacher's lounge even though I'm not supposed to be here and I'm going to brew some coffee and leave it to get cold. The principal is going to lose her clucking mind when she sees this. <laughs> Rebellious Arnold strikes again. Enjoy your cold coffee, teachers. Well, I think it might be time for class. Come on then, teacher, give me what you got. That's supposed to be an equation? Please, I could do that in my sleep. You think this is a mother flipping joke? Why are you stealing my seat? Fine, I'll sit here. Oh no, there's my bully. You're on thin ice, teacher. I've got a spreadsheet at home, dated with all your cock-ups in the classroom. Get it together. I make a lot of spreadsheets. I'm highly proficient in all Excel functionality. I guess you could say I'm a freak in the sheets. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess that's lunch. See what they got in the cafeteria today. Hopefully nothing that gets stuck in my braces. See if I can get a sandwich. Hey, give me a sandwich and square it this time. Don't try pulling that triangle shiz again. Burgers? Well, I suppose they will do. Kind of a lot of kids in today. Usually the cool thing about lunch is that I get to have the whole table to myself because most of the time everyone sits at a different table. Which is pretty cool for me, I quite like it that way. But, I guess these nerds decided to come join me today. That's fine, that's fine, whatever. Well, seeing as I've already been pretty out of control today, I may as well go the extra mile and make get myself some brownies. That's right, brownies, stat. What the flip are you looking at? Thank you very much. Sit with these kids. Don't go looking at my brownie. I saw your eyes dart towards my plate. If any of you think you're going to have a bite of this brownie, you can think again. I do not like to share. One time, my cousin came over with his girlfriend and asked me if I had any rubbers. And I said, yeah, I've been collecting rubbers since I was 12, but you can't have one. So you see, I don't like to share my things. Where are we going now, Arnold? You taking me to the computer room? You going to go study? Oh, no, you're going to go play a game. That's right. Should be studying, but instead we're going to play a game. And I don't care who knows it. Is that some chess tables in there? <laughs> no wonder the brown team lost putting the bishop over there. Rookie move. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's the school bell. Gotta go back to class. Oh, give up. I noticed the principal didn't say anything about the coffee. Yeah, she probably just spent the rest of the morning crying. Okay, just write some notes. Oh no, I need to use the bathroom. 
I better hold it until I get home. Well, almost home time. I think tonight I'll probably talk to my girlfriend. Yeah, I got a girlfriend. Long distance. Met her online. She lives in another country. Yeah, I'll probably send her an email. Our email exchanges tend to get a bit racy. We talk about what we've had for dinner and... I don't know why I'm telling you this. I don't even know you. I guess I'm just trying to make a friend. All right, Arnold, let's go home. I see you queued up going to the bathroom. Remember, you have to do that at home. You can't trust these kids. Not unless you want another swirly whirly like last week. Home sweet home. Okay, let's head back down to my man cave. Write an email to our beloved. Her name's Sharon. Good day, Sharon. Hope you are well. No, no, that's too formal. Sharon, have a cracking day, you goddess. Oh, no, that might be too forward. Hi, Sharon. Have a good day. Love from... No, no, no From Arnold. And send. Ah, oh, another exhilarating email exchange with my boo. Now it's time to wind down. Some people don't know this, but Arnold is a well-established member of the Yelp Club. So he likes to watch movies and then leave reviews. Let's watch Super Kids Cortex Catastrophe. Arnold's a bit of a troll sometimes, though. He doesn't always leave good reviews. We never give five stars, do we, Arnold? Oh, please, if you're going to make a sci-fi, at least make it believable. You're really telling me that a laser beam couldn't get through an obstacle like that? What were the writers thinking? Oh, they're getting a negative review, all right. Disney are going to be shaking in their boots when they see what I write about this shit show. Oh, whoops, that's going to be a penny for the swear jar. Man, these kids are real crazy, aren't they? Embarking on all sorts of adventures. Oh, they found the bad guy. They're going to set him straight, all right. This movie su has surprisingly high production value, actually. There's... Have you ever watched one of these movies? There's actually a storyline to it. I'm pleasantly surprised by these movie hangout films. Well, overall, that wasn't so bad, but we're still going to leave them a bad review. Because we are just off the rails like that. Okay, Super Kids Cortex Catastrophe. There was nothing super about these kids. They had magical powers, sure, but one of them had a less than pleasant attitude. They clearly did not take the missions at hand seriously enough. Overall, however, it was an enjoyable film. Four stars. Ha! Take that, Disney. This'll be my 3,000th review. Slowly making my way through every sci-fi film going. Well, that's all our work done. Mum's cooking up a storm in the kitchen. Why don't we go conceal our acne? Maybe apply some facial cleanser? Arnold seems to be struggling with puberty a little bit. Ah, oh, food's ready. Smells delicious, Mum. I hope you wash your hands. Ah, oh, what a good egg. No one's too rebellious for washing their hands. And that's what this channel is all about. Giving life and general hygiene tips. And then once you've finished your dinner, you can end your evening the same way Arnold always ends his evenings. With a mud bath. No one is too much of a rebel to enjoy spa treatment. Arnold is no exception. Just after you wash your plate, obviously you can't leave a dirty dish. I mean, I know we're rebellious, but that takes it too far, am I right? <laughs> we're not a psychopath, and we love our mum. Oh man, Arnold, what a wild day. I can't believe we got away with that stunt with the cold coffee. Maybe we can inflict just as much terror tomorrow. Don't spend too long in there, Arnold. It's 9.30. That's past your bedtime. Probably still on a high from the wild ride that was today. But now I think it's time we head to bed. So get your gym jams on and dream sweet dreams. And that was the day in the life of Arnold Chan. Will we see him again? Who knows? He's unpredictable. And on that note, I'm probably going to end this video here. Was it a completely pointless video? Yeah, I suppose it was. I kind of wanted to try something new with a different type of character. Maybe one day we'll see Arnold again. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.